Hey guys, Moose here with another episode of Minecraft. I am here with Karen, as you can see her digging away at the coal here. Hello. And we are continuing to explore this mine shaft that we found. So in the last episode, we talked a lot about what your ideal game is. Sorry if you can hear the sprinklers here. We talked a lot about what your ideal game is. Um, didn't talk about mine yet though, but I don't necessarily have an answer, frankly. Oh, that's unfair. That's not... Oh, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> um, it's... I don't think there is an ideal game. I think at any given moment, especially now that I'm kind of considering things within the context of being someone who's making videos and basically trying to make content off of a game, there isn't really an ideal because it's it's much more complex than that. There's things that I, at a given any given moment, there might be one or two different things that I'm looking for in a game. You know, sometimes I just want to mine in Minecraft. Sometimes I want a multiplayer experience. Sometimes I want something brainless where I can just, you know, shoot stuff. And you know, sometimes I go play CSGO with bots because that's relaxing in its own way. Uh, sometimes I'm looking for basically EVE Online. It, it's, you know, it changes every day. It really depends what kind of mood I'm in, what I want to do at any given moment. Uh, so it, it's very hard to say, but uh, I don't know. How, how would be best to answer this? I'm not even really sure. The best for me is, like, you know, like everything that has everything I want. So like you well, said... But you don't necessarily want everything in one game, because that doesn't really work. I suppose. That's why, you know, it's kind of like ideal. Because you can't... You know, there is not a game out there that would actually satisfy you in that way. Well, that game... But it's it's recognizing that that game can't actually exist simply because it's not something that can happen. Like, you can't have a perfect game. They... There's always going to be things that you're not going to be able to get. And that's okay. Because sometimes you just need a game. That's why like, I look at a game like Reigns, and I did the review on Reigns. That's why I come down so hard and say, well, this is such a good game, you, everyone should play this. Because it's not perfect. You know, It's not going to scratch every itch you have. But if you have the right itch for that game to scratch, it is the perfect kind of game for that. Because you can't... Oops. Could you break? Well, I don't even know if you're near me. Um, it's just, games are so much more complex than just saying this is the best blank there is. It, it's, I don't know what would be ideal. I just don't. Uh, it's, it's too complicated to answer in a way that's meaningful, I think. But, um, ooh, there's a, okay, there's actually something important here that's great. I'm gonna go play with that in a second once the lava disperses. Um, so I guess maybe if I look at my favorite games overall, that might provide some insight. Well, this is pretty good. No saddles though, so that's kind of unfortunate. So I don't know, like maybe if Subnautica had buildings that I preferred more. Because the I, I love Subnautica. I've talked about this before, but one of the things I don't like about it is that uh, I kind of feel like the the buildings that you can get. I get why they're the shape that they are, but the shape that they are makes them very restricting and and very claustrophobic. I feel they don't feel good, right? I don't know. Have you, did I ever stream it for you? Did I ever show? I showed you Subnautica, but I don't know how much I showed yeah. you. So, but how familiar with it are you? you. I even watched it while I was there. Okay. So the buildings are like, you can build a big one, but it's still relatively claustrophobic. And I get that's, you know, if you're making underwater buildings, that's really what they're like because there's not, you know, pressure and all kinds of stuff going on. You can't just make a, a massive sprawling underwater complex, but maybe I kind of want to, and maybe them playing a game is kind of like, I want to do that because it's a video game, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um. I think in some ways my ideal might be EVE Online, but maybe if it played more like... I don't like the combat. Like, basically, maybe some kind of mix between X3 Terran Conflict, I think, is probably the best. Reunion's the one that I put the most time into, but Terran Conflict was probably an improvement. I just didn't 
have the time and mental energy to put into it to get into that one. Um, a game like that, which basically you have, there's a lot of mechanics where like you, you can start your own corporation and there's a massive like actually simulated economy and you, you get, uh, you have your ship that you pilot, but then you have like AI in control of the other ships in your fleet and you can set them up to behave a certain way so that they're doing trading runs in different areas. You have AI traders that take your money and turn it into more money to the point where like in some situations players would recommend okay we'll set it up this way and then just leave your game on for like a day or two and you'll be rich but it, it took time so that worked in some ways because it was single player like i don't think that would necessarily work in a multiplayer game not very well anyway so it might not work right for eve but i guess maybe the depth that eve has with mining and everything like i didn't really like mining in in the x games I don't think it worked very well, but uh, in in Eve it was pretty good, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, it was nice, like you have all these different sectors and they have uh, different resources in them, so you have to find the right one for the resources that you're particularly looking for. And then you go mine it, and you gotta protect yourself, and you have a particular amount that you can hold. So it'd be really cool if I could go do something like that, and then have a fleet like coming with me to to get more stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's a whole complex thing. But then the stumbling block there, and why I would be hesitant to call it my ideal game, is that's a very time-intensive game. And, like, there's there's realities outside of the game that have to be true for me, me to be able to consider that my ideal game. Like, I don't... If I have to work... If I have to have a day job, that doesn't work, right? Because there's not enough time to put into the game, frankly. <laughs> um, I heard like a lot of legendary things about Eve. Like yeah, how there's really, to... there's really amazing stuff that happens, but it's you have to have so. It's, okay, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Oh, sorry. Um, you have to have such an amazing amount of time to put into it. It's ridiculous. Like I just I don't have that kind of time. I heard the the thing that you should be afraid of the most are like actual players themselves because yeah. they're the true enemy <laughs> they scam uh, you not and always they... but yeah mostly yeah so break the spawner I... here okay oh, there's a spawner yeah but nothing interesting uh what enemy uh really annoying cave spiders that are killing me oh you want string though, there's a shit ton here. And you might say I shouldn't be wasting if you're watching this, you're probably gonna say I shouldn't be wasting my sword on breaking the breaking the uh string or breaking the spider webs, but I'm gonna do it because I have enough iron. I, I can kind of like set up a minor base down here and build everything I need. So I'm just gonna do it. If you can find me, that'd be fine. Um you don't need to, but Sorry, you my. Might, no, you don't need to. I'm saying like, y there's stuff over here, but I don't know. No, uh, my it's ass is hard. getting kicked by a spider. Like they keep coming for some reason. There's probably a spawner. Uh, let me try and get to you. Let me. Yeah, shit. I'm not gonna be able to find my way back. Oh, uh, where the hell are you? We should maybe not be getting this separated. <laughs> There we go. Okay, back this way. But yeah, so if I say, okay, well, I have to do it within the context of my current life. Well, all right, well, MMOs are out for sure. That's not going to work. Even 14, which I play, like, I, I can't really play that. It's sort of unwise for me to play it, right? And right now I don't really play it even because I just don't have time. Like, I'm, I'm trying to play it, but you're getting, wow. You lost all your shit. Oh, I got bush. All right, let me try and get down there. Cause some of your stuff made it to a ledge, but you're pretty fucked. Like whatever you got, oh my mostly God. gone. Uh, all that coal and shit. All the what? What do you have? All the coal and iron. Oh, that's fine. If that's all you, lo excuse me. Uh, kind of hiccups or something. If that's all you lost, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> actually, spider. a lot of your stuff is still here. Oh, thank God. Not the majority of it. Uh, don't want that. Don't want that. 
don't need that. Keep the gravel. Uh, what else do I want to get rid of? Don't really need more redstone. But andesite's worse. Granite's worse. Uh, everything else is kind of useful, I guess, for now. Alright, well that's fine. That'll give me a reason to come back out, and then I can, uh, we can delve back in. That's yeah. great, though. That means I can talk <laughs> without yeah. fearing those zombies. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. well, I guess, sorry, I was kind of, I need to finish my point before no, you continue. Okay. Um... I didn't finish mine you, either in the previous video, I, I just think realized you that. broke the way up. I'm trying to find my way up here, I don't see it. Oh no, it's over here. Okay, that's good. So, for my current life, like, my responsibilities as they stand, my current game, honestly, has nothing to do with what I enjoy the most. It's just, okay, well this makes the most sense to play, because it's effective as, like, an LP game or something. Um... I honestly don't know. Like, what would I enjoy the most? I guess if I could play Coup online, but that wouldn't even be that big of a thing. It's just what doesn't exist currently. Um, <laughs> maybe, like, a more... If you took Banished and fleshed it out more, maybe that would be it. Because I, I love Banished, and I'm, I kind of want to... I've been feeling like going back and playing it, but every time I do, I have the same reaction, and that reaction is to be kind of frustrated that, like... It's a great game, I love playing it, but there's just not enough content. I just get bored, I get frustrated and bored so quickly because I'm like, alright, well I'm stable and I have all this stuff and I've kind of built everything that I can even though I don't want everything that I can build. Now what? And there's just nothing to do. And it frustrates me because I love the game. But I want to like, keep playing. with that kind of game though, there is no end, right? Like, I mean, we talk about this no, before, but if there's so nothing, bad. if there's nothing else to do, then it's over, right? Because that's the only way it can be over, and that's why Minecraft works so well long term. My dog is still fucking down there. Um, <laughs> there there's so really much. no end of Minecraft because there's always a new area to explore that you've never seen before, and you know, you, okay, I've seen coal before, I've seen iron before, fine, all that's true, but there's other stuff that I haven't seen. There's lots of stuff that I have, I have no idea how to get back. Uh oh. Uh, I think I know which way to go, so... Yeah, I know, okay, I know where to go. I can see the starting village from here. Um, it's, you know... Once you run out of stuff to reasonably do... And, by the way, the maps aren't that... Uh, well, there's no real reason to expand to the whole map, but it gets kind of... it get it, I think you're not really meant to have too many people, and it gets kind of crazy when you have too many people, so it's hard to maintain like food and everything when you start having way too many people, which means expanding to the whole map is a little rough. I don't know, maybe that'll be what I try to do next time I play, but it just like it's hard for me to keep playing that because I want to make more stuff, and I know you can mod it and things, but I kind of feel like it should already be in the game. I don't think I should have to rely on mods to get it, and I haven't seen any that really go as far as I want them to. Mm. So, I guess I guess that'd be it. That'd be my ideal game, because it's relaxing, and it's I don't necessarily want it to be difficult. I just want to be able to build, like, a, a town and manage resources, or but then the, the flip side of that is probably the best thing that I would be most addicted to would have to do with collecting resources. I mean, you know how I was with crafting in 14, like, yeah. I, I need so everything. So something like Pokemon Go or No Man's Sky? No, because there has to be, a like, a point. Like, in 14, it was like, okay, well, I'm going to accumulate a shit ton of money. Yeah. Something like that. Like, there has to be some end game to doing it. It can't just be, okay, well, now I have this, right? It, I'm not, I don't collect toys. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a collector, really. It's more, I like the activity of collecting a thing. Mm -hmm. Once I have it, I don't care so much. So there <laughs> needs to be a purpose to having it, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, bringing up the whole building thing. I think that's part of the reason why I'm excited about DKB. I mean, yeah, by no means, like, like, I know it's not, a, it's not a perfect game. And there's never going to be a perfect game ever but i mean it has like the thing that or like things that i do enjoy about builder games which are you know you actually control like how you how you can build things 
and at the same time it has the thing that I felt like Minecraft could have. But at the same time, I understand why Minecraft doesn't have that. Yeah, it's focused um, on a different aspect of this kind of gameplay. That's all. Yeah. With DKV, like, when you build something, it it seems to have a purpose, you know? So if you build the town, then you start bringing in more townspeople. And you can, you know, like, save people outside. Like, it's a side quest. Like, it's not mandatory for some people. You can just save them so they can, you know, come to your town and help you. And, you know, it kind of incentivizes for you to, you know, kind of, like, explore the area. Because once you have townspeople, right, and you build, like, the basic necessities, like, the kitchen room or... Uh, so is it? It's you get rooms. No weaving it's... rooms. Like yeah, you can make them. Rooms or and... buildings? That's a big, big like, important difference. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Like okay, you... so you can designate a particular area as a type of thing, but it could be a mansion or it could be a, a shack, basically. Yes. So you know, it just have to have that and a chest. By the so, way, I figured out why the dog teleported to me. Basically, when it came of age, it just decided that it needed to be by my side, so it teleported in. It was one that I created. It was They made it and, you know. Oh. They had a kid. So that one's he's just going to be there forever. It's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take him with me next time I go in. He's probably going to fall in the lava, though. Aww. That's fine. Anyways, but yeah, so, you know, like the, to like the townspeople kind of make, like, your town feel more alive because you know like there are more people in there it's not just you and your creation <laughs> and cricket cricket kind of noises but um at the same time i like that you know they have a purpose they're not just there walking around the area you know filling a, filling up your town they they can help you if you have the things you know that they can use to help you. So they so have th jobs. So it's is it a little bit like Stonehearth where they have a particular role and you can assign them to a particular workstation or whatever? Um, I don't know if you can assign them, but I've seen like in Japanese playthroughs that they craft things and depending on the person who, you know, like make something like this old guy who's really wise and I think he's like uh, a mage or something. So if he makes something in the alchemy room, right? Like his potions are going to be more potent than, you know, what other people made. Something like that. Okay. So there's they have stats or de there's stuff going on with them that makes them different. Individually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and they probably like, have like classes of some kind. Basically, it's a class system, or you can think of it that way. I'm assuming. Yeah, and and you know there are different types of like clothes, like st stuff that gives you stats, obviously, and stuff that are more you know just glamour purposes if you just want to look cute and stuff. <laughs> um, what else? <laughs> I I also like I mean something that I thought was pretty nice and I feel like you know they try to kind of make things a lot more simple compared to Minecraft like if you craft a compass the compass will be on the screen like you don't have to hold it in your hand or whatsoever or I, in the handbar necessarily think that's more simple it's just a detail I think Minecraft doesn't really care about particular function like features. I, Typically, everything that's implemented is not really adding anything other than an item to the game. So things like maps were like a surprise to me because they don't normally, they very rarely add anything complex or have any real substance. It's just like, okay, well, here's a new block and it just looks different. <laughs> doesn't really do anything, but here's andesite and granite. And the I... diorite. It was like, okay, yeah, you can make it polished, <laughs> but that's kind of it. It's sort of like, okay, well, now it's a pain in the ass to store all this stuff because I have three, four different types of stone. Aww. So I, I don't necessarily agree with that it's more simple or anything. But Well, I mean, I just meant like simple in a sense that, you know, if like 
younger children would play it, they would be like, oh, you know, I know what to do. Kid, Rather come on. than kids like, play actual... the shit out of Minecraft. Yeah, I know, I know that. But um, I guess I'm not understanding your point. Uh, like, I wouldn't say that, like, you know, like Minecraft doesn't care about like utilities like that or how utilities are used. For... I would, dude, it's totally haphazard. I would agree. I would say yes, they don't care, or not agree, but I would say that they don't care. I mean, well, I felt maybe like they it do was now. More of a flavor, because you know it uh, doesn't try to handhold you so much. But it does in some. I don't know. It's. I think it's just everything that there's a basic set of rules that were set up in the game, and either either because it was a design choice or because the game's programming just made it work this way, and that's the only way they could implement it. If they added things like a map or a compass, it was only going to work a very certain way, and that basically is tied to how everything else works. And I think that's just the nature of it. I don't think that... I, I would bet money that they probably didn't particularly pick to make it work this way, or choose to make it work this way. This is just the way it w happened. It's a post. So, I, I think, if anything, it sounds like DQB is more polished. That would be the word I would use. No. Not that no. Minecraft is bad, it's just there's certain things where it's like, okay, well this is, doesn't really seem like it's implemented in the best way. Which is fine. But it's also the truth, you know? Um, the other thing is that, you know, you can either craft uh, chimera wings or, you know, like your townspeople can craft it for you or you can get it as a reward for a comp or a finishing quest and so you can, what so you, short version is you can fly you can teleport back to your town oh. so uh, you know. that i don't necessarily well how big yeah. are the maps map like okay is the map infinite or are we talking <sighs> kind of portal night style shit where there's just an end to it uh i'm not exactly sure all right that's gonna like, actually well, be a big deal for me yeah like, I know for creative, like, it's a lot, you know, like, I've seen people make stuff. I mean, I say creative, free build mode. Um, but in a lot of playthroughs, you know, for the actual game mode. Story. They, or, yeah, they mostly focus on, you know, like, the actual town. So I so never it's like really... an it's like an RTS map, it sounds like, for, for, town, sure. for town building. Stuff. I'm actually curious myself. Yeah, I kind of want to figure that out now. All right, well, that's yeah. interesting. I, I may have a problem with that. I really want to have basically as much area as I want. I really get frustrated when there's games. I didn't really like this about Stone Hearth, but it kind of works within the game because it's such a pain in the ass to get big enough that it matters. Mm -hmm. And also the game stops functioning properly by the time you get that big. But anyway, that's <laughs> besides the point. Um, yeah. It's just I, I wanted to be bigger. I wanted to have more room, and anytime there's a creative game, I feel like it should have basically as much room as you can give the player, because the whole point is to be creative, right? Yeah. How are you going to do that if you limit the amount of space you get? Yeah, I understand. Oh, shit, I didn't, I didn't get a new sword when I was back home. That was a bad idea. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Um, what else? And I think you unlock... Like, I'm not sure gone. if I... Oh, oh no. Are you beating Ambush? No, I'm okay for now. There's a witch, I think, hiding around. No, there's a spawner. That's the problem right now. But I, I can... I can find a way to make this work. I just need to find some iron and coal. There's some coal here, so... Okay. Anyway, continue. Um, I think you... You unlock it through requests or, like, over time. I, I'm not exactly uh, sure, but... Unlock um, what? Unlock what? But yeah, in each world, like at a certain point, you can craft a big chest, which um, allows you to. So even if you're far away, right, like mm -hmm. far from the town, you can like oh, shared inventory. access. Yeah, you can access that chest. So it kind of like encourages you to explore rather than okay, you know, like your bag is full, you have to come back, kind of thing. Uh, I would rather you have to set up or get like a mount or something. I, I kind of don't like that too much. I mean, you you still need to come back for some reason because like if the main like 
um, main chest, right, is filled up, then you have to add the other stuff in the other chest. So well, how big is the main one? Do you know? Uh, oh, I, I, it wouldn't really tell me anything because you don't know yeah, how, much, how many items I, you get or how they really, stack. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, I'll um, be interested to see. Uh, it, I mean, we've talked about this a few times now, just for anyone watching. I am going to be doing a lot of DQB content, probably. So, if you like games like Minecraft, you're probably going to see a lot of that in the future. Um, it's it's something that I'm excited for. Karen got me into it initially, and I'm, I'm kind of pumped. Because there's a lot of things that I wish Minecraft did differently, and did better. And it looks like DQB is the first thing I've really seen that's like a serious attempt to do that properly. So I'm really looking forward to trying it and seeing, okay, well, does this does this scratch the itch that I want it to scratch? And and then go from there and hopefully do a lot of content for it if it's popular, which it, I think it, from what I've seen so far, it deserves to be. So anyway, point is you're, you're probably gonna see and hear a lot more about it down the road. <laughs> Um, it's actually kind of funny too, because they're like, originally they were just like, oh, you know, like, let's make a simple side game for people keep, because, you know, it's an anniversary thing. And like, at first they're like, oh, how about we make like a baseball game? And everyone was like, no, that's, that's not going to work. And then like, they brought up the idea of how about, you know, making something like Minecraft. But um, the director who handled, like, DQB was like, okay, like, that's cool. Like, can I add my own spin to it? Because apparently he's very into, like, Western, like, RPGs, like Skyrim. And the way they handled, like, you know, like, the main story quests and the side quests were, you know, like, the side quests are there. Like, you're not obligated to do them. But like you discover them and you can do them, you know, at your own choice kind of thing. So I'm kind of curious how they did it. But because of the reception that the game got, um, they're thinking of, you know, like making another one maybe in the future that fixes the things that they felt like, you know, they could improve on from the first game. It, it seems like it ought to be quite good, but there's no way of knowing until we get there, so I guess we'll yeah. find out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to playing it. Um, I hope it's good. I suspect it is, because the thing is, it's already succeeded in Japan, so this isn't a brand new release. It's just being ported over the US, so hopefully the only thing they do is translate, and it really frustrates me when they do things other than translate, so hopefully that <laughs> won't be an issue, but... Uh, <laughs> We'll see, I guess. It, I know we read there was an article you linked to me about some kind of oh. like naughty, naughty content or whatever. Like you can return to your room with someone. Oh my god! But gosh. I don't know if that's like that's not worth removing, right? I'm actually like I'm glad you mentioned it because I kept forgetting to tell you about that. So I, you know, I linked it to you and we kind of joke about it, right? Because we, mm -hmm. you know, but like, we thought it was kind of like funny, we didn't find it offensive. But apparently, like, after the news came out, like, a lot of people were offended and they were saying, why are they letting children see this, like, you know, like, X-rated game? And it's like... Why is it, why do they assume it's for children? Just because it looks like Minecraft? It doesn't have to be for kids. Lots of adults play Minecraft, too. And it's like... I'm almost 30, I'm playing Minecraft. I know, but like the thing was, like D, like Dragon Quest was never, you know, like a PG thirteen kind of game. It well, does... okay, but you have to put yourself. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. If you put yourself in the, in the, shit. If you put yourself in the mindset, I'm probably gonna die. In the mindset, uh, yeah, I'm totally gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, uh -oh. well I can run back. If you put yourself in the mindset of uh, a Western audience, I don't think Dragon. Okay, we're gonna sleep. Uh, I don't think Dragon Quest is a very popular series, right? I mean, it doesn't get much love out here. It's not Final. Yeah, I know it's Square Enix, right? But it's not Final Fantasy, and it's always gonna yeah. be kind of this stepchild. 
Yeah. It's never going to be on the same tier that Final Fantasy is. Yeah, so except in Japan. Japan. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's Japan. Either. We're talking about the West right now. Yeah, We're yeah, talking yeah. about people I... being offended out here. So yeah. I think even if Dragon Quest has never been aimed at kids, it r not doesn't necessarily matter because it's not been aimed really at anyone out here. On it. I mean, yeah, of course they've been selling it and, and localizing it, but that doesn't mean that it's it's really been out there enough for people to recognize, okay, well, this isn't a kid's game. Like, you don't see these articles for things like DOA Beach Volleyball or something. Like, <laughs> it's a different... People understand, like, okay, well, that's not for kids. But because we have Minecraft, people see this and they just assume, okay, that's a kid's game. And, and you know, I don't think they're right. I think they're stupid. But at the same time, I think it's slightly reasonable to feel that way because... If you look at it from their perspective, every parent out here, or not every parent, but a lot of parents don't know shit about games. So if they're looking at games, they probably one of the only ones that they know anything about or be aware of is Minecraft, right? I think yeah. that's reasonable to say. Mm -hmm. So they see this other game that looks like Minecraft. It It's not an entirely unreasonable assumption for them to think, oh, well, okay, that looks like the other one that's kind of a kid's game, so this should be a kid's game, right? <laughs> so that you can see where they would have an issue, right? Whether it's reasonable or not is a whole nother discussion, but I can see this being an issue. Because, like, now that you mention it, wait, well, you do have a point. But I, I guess, like, I'm not sure if there is a specific quest that allows you to do that. But from what I, you know, remember from watching Japanese playthroughs, the whole sleeping thing is mostly like. So there's a, a placard, is that what you call it in English? Well, it depends what you're referring to. That is a word, but I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, it's the thing that you put on, like, your the door, or... Sign. Placard yeah. is, placard's acceptable. I don't think there's anything wrong with that okay. word, but you Good. might use sign more often. Okay, so something like that. So basically, you... Are you about to tell me that there's one for a brothel? No, it, well, I mean, because that would be know. pretty great, honestly. <laughs> well, I don't know, but um, start it's playing it like I played Banished. So you you put a sign, you know, like, and let's say you meet the bedroom, right? And then you put a sign, and you assign the people who would sleep in there. So you know, if you don't want people stealing your bed just because you explored late at night. <laughs> I mean, something like that. So you can assign your favorite, you know, like Tom's person to sleep in the same bed with you. And okay. I feel so like that seems like kind of innocent because the child, there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing that you're saying that would make a child think, oh, that means that babies come from sex. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not what's happening there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, and I feel like, you know, that's not harmless, but like I said, I haven't played the actual game, and, yeah. you know, like, I tried to not watch the whole thing, you know, because I want to surprise myself, too, so I yeah, would just watch, like... I'm sort of struggling with that, because, like, yeah. I, I'm like, okay, well, I want to be able to put out content ahead of the release to get people interested, but at the same time, that inherently means I need to spoil myself, so... Yeah. what's the right path forward here? And I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. So yeah. I'll have to figure that out for myself and figure out what the right what the right move is on that front. Well, I mean, like, you know, I, I want to know, like, stuff that I wouldn't know otherwise if I didn't watch <laughs> people play it first. But, like, things like, you know, how to beat the boss or how to do side quests or how to discover this x and y side quests like i've seen some because you know like some people did it they discovered along the way and you know some of them i didn't watch <laughs> so i'm curious how many side quests i can see oh okay this is where my corpse is gonna okay i find my i found where i died pretty much oh thank Good. goodness just retracing my steps here. Yep, there's all my stuff. Fantastic. All right, well, on that anticlimactic note, we've gone way over, so I think we are going to end the episode here at like half an hour. No, 35 minutes. Way longer. But that was a good conversation. I just didn't want to stop that conversation 
I'll have to be more disciplined in the future, but that was a, a nice <laughs> conversation to have. So yeah. thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. Take care.